party. Today is Danny Dog's birthday. He is having a party. <laughs> Yo ho ho! Everyone has come dressed as pirates. Yo ho ho! Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Yee ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It is Grandad Dog dressed as a pirate. <laughs> Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. <laughs> Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling o'er the briny seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirate talk. If you want to play my pirate game, say arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
biscuit tin. It's a treasure chest. But it's still got biscuits in. <laughs> uh, who wants a biscuit? Me! me, 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 me. me. Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout, Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Hurrah! Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! A jolly pirate we that sail the deep blue sea to find a golden treasure for sail ahoy me! <laughs> Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! <laughs> Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! <laughs> Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! <laughs> I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro. Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep. Uh, yes. Sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest over a hill Round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we've buried it? Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro? Don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello. Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, Mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, dear. How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map. Mummy Pony is using Pepper's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful, especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> <laughs> Polly's boat trip. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George on a boat trip. Uh, Polly Parrot is going too. Uh, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> Have you got your mobile phone? Yes, Granny Pig. Don't drop it in the water. No, Granny Pig. Is it switched on? Yes, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye bye. Here is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there. Ahoy there. Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. 
I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Granddad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead. Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Grandpa. Can I be the captain, please? OK. But as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Peppa is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Peppa. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Peppa is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah? Uh, message to Granny? <laughs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Peppa. And I can teach Polly what to say. Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Uh, Grandpa Pig says... What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Help! Help! Goodness me! Grandpa must need help. <laughs> Grandad Dog! Hello, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig needs help. Please, could you rescue him? Madam, I would be delighted. Hooray! Ahoy there! Do you need rescuing, Captain? Um, maybe. Would you like my rusty old boat to rescue you? Yes, please, Grandad Dog. Catch this, Captain. Aye, aye, Skipper. Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Granny, did Polly tell you we needed help? Yes. Polly is a very clever parrot. Say, I'm a clever parrot. Woof, woof. I'm a clever parrot. Pirate Island. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and her friends for a day out on his boat. Everyone on board. Full sail! See you later! See you later! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all wearing life jackets. George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. Ooh. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! <laughs> Here we are. Pirate Island. Hooray! What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Ooh. 
Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Hooray! Let's find some more. Aha! We found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness! This piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh dear. That is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boot. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> what a splendid castle. Hooray! <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny. Oh, no. Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig! Oh, no! Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. <laughs> and we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Oh, where am I? Hello? hello? Uh, hello, everyone. Have you had a nice time? Yes. Uh, uh actually, I just left something behind. Back in a tick. Look! There's Grandpa. We're saved! Hooray! Welcome aboard, me hearties. Naughty Grandpa Pig. We thought you'd left us behind. Sorry about that, Granny Pig. Next time, I promise not to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Pirate Island. See you again soon. I love Pirate Island. Can we visit it again? Oh, oh of course we can, Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are borrowing Grandpa's boat for the day. Remember, Daddy Pig, push the lever forward to go forward. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. Forward. And back to go back. And back. Simple. And please look after my boat. I've just had it painted. Oh, Grandpa Pig. What an old fusspot you are. <laughs> <laughs> Are my crew ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Oh, the boat is moving backwards. Ah, watch out for the bridge. Oops. Oh, that was close. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a lovely time. I hope my boat comes back in one piece. Stop worrying. It will be fine. Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. So am I. Grandpa's left us a picnic in the galley. What's a galley? A galley is a boat's little kitchen. Follow me. Peppa and George are going inside the boat. Wow! <laughs> what a tiny little kitchen. Where's the picnic? 
The obvious place would be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a picnic. Then it must be here. And that's not a picnic. This kitchen has everything in the wrong place. Wow, TV. Daddy Pig cannot find the picnic. It's impossible. If this was my kitchen, the picnic would be here. Oh, well done, Peppa. Peppa has found the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Look out! Long reeds ahead. Don't worry. Grandpa's boat will easily go through them. Are we stuck? No. We can reverse. Now are we stuck? Yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the reeds. I'll just give it a little push. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. When I say go, start the engine. Aye, aye, Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Go! Daddy Pig has pushed the boat out of the reeds. Hooray! Quick, Daddy! Jump back on the boat! <laughs> oh, no! Daddy Pig is being left behind. Swift faster, Daddy! Stop the engine! What's he saying? Stop the engine! Daddy says, stop the engine! Oh. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. But let's head for home before we have any more adventures. Aye, aye, aye Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. They've been gone for ages. I hope my boat's all right. Look, there they are. Hello. Hello. Ahoy there. <laughs> I'll just park the boat. <laughs> you park a car, but you moor a boat. I'll show you. Grandpa Pig is going to moor the boat. The secret of mooring is to do it carefully. Mind the bridge! What? Look, Look behind, behind you. you! Ah! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Grandpa has broken his boat. Never mind, Grandpa. You can have lots of fun mending it. It is true that I love mending things. Can I help mend the boat, Grandpa? Oh, ho, ho. of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> Treasure hunt! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are making a treasure hunt for Peppa and George. Granny Pig is drawing the treasure map. Grandpa Pig is burying the treasure in a secret place in the garden. Grandpa Pig, have you finished? Pepper and George will be here soon. <laughs> no need to panic, Granny Pig. Pepper and her family are here. Quick, Grandpa Pig, they're here. Oh, almost done. <laughs> Oh. Grandpa Pig oh. just finished in time. Granny Pig, we're here. Granny Pig. Hello, my little ones. Grandpa Pig. Papa Pig. Ahoy there, me hearties. Peppa, George, we've made you a treasure hunt. Somewhere in the garden is buried treasure. Wow, treasure. Where is it? Oh, you have to look for it. Here's a treasure map for Peppa. And George could wear my pirate hat. Ahoy there, Captain George. <laughs> the map is a bit difficult. Daddy, can you help? Of course, Peppa. I'm very good with maps. Uh, it is a bit difficult. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're holding the map upside down. Yes, I thought as much. It's easy. The Red Cross shows where the treasure is. But where in the garden are those two apple trees? Hmm, I don't know. 
Would you like a clue? Yes, please. The first clue is in a bottle. <coughs> but where is the bottle? I can see it. <laughs> Pepper has found the first clue. A message in a bottle. Look, everyone. Here's the bottle. Well done, Pepper. Let's see what the message says. Oh, it's a message from a pirate. Mummy, can you read the pirate's message? Hmm. This pirate has very bad handwriting. The pirate's handwriting is excellent. No, I can't make it out at all. The pirate is clearly written. Follow the arrows. Follow the arrows? George has found the second clue. Sticks in the shape of an arrow. Look, they point this way. <laughs> Peppa and George are following the arrows. <laughs> Look, George, a key. Peppa has found the next clue. A key. Well done, Peppa. <coughs> now you just have to find the treasure chest that it unlocks. But there aren't any more clues. Maybe you should take another look at the map. Look, Peppa, the map has two apple trees on it. Here's an apple tree. <coughs> and here's an apple tree. <coughs> so the treasure must be here. Let's take a look. Oh, dear. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Hang on. There is something here. Wow! Treasure! Hooray! Hooray! Well done! Well done! <laughs> I've got the key to open it. Wow! I can't believe it. Gold coins! They must be worth a fortune. It's better than that. They're not gold coins. They're chocolate coins. And there's a chocolate coin for everybody. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George love chocolate coins. Everyone loves chocolate coins. Granny, Grandpa, this is the best treasure hunt ever. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy dress party. Pepper and George are having a fancy <laughs> dress party. All their friends are invited. <laughs> Pepper is dressed as a fairy princess. <laughs> and George is dressed as a dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. Who have we here? I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. What are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Papa. Papa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. <coughs> you must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> you are Peppa. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Peppa. Hello. I'm a little fairy princess. <laughs> I'm a witch. Meow. And I've got a magic wand. I've got a magic wand too. 
I can turn you into a frog. And I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. <Grrr. laughs> oh dear, George is scared of his own reflection. Oh, silly George. <laughs> Look, it's you in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Children, it's time to decide who has the best fancy dress costume. We need a judge. Me, me. <laughs> As it's Peppa's party, maybe she should be the judge. I'm the judge. I'm the judge. Daddy, what is a judge? The judge decides who has the best costume. Oh, goody. Peppa is going to choose who has the best costume. Susie, can I see your costume, please? Meh. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. I make people better. Very good, Nurse Susie. Now, Danny? I'm a parrot. Shovel me timbers. <laughs> now, Candy? Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Well, I'm a fairy princess and I can turn you into a frog. <laughs> Children, children. Sorry, Mummy. Who's next? I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And Rebecca? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and my little brother George is a scary dinosaur. Grrr. Everyone's costume is very good. Hooray! <laughs> Now you say who the winner is. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and the winner is... me. Oh. <gasps> Peppa, you can't pick yourself. You're the judge. Oh, can't I? You have to pick another winner. OK. The carrot wins. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> Peppa loves fancy dress parties. Everyone loves fancy dress parties. <laughs> The Noisy Night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. Pepper and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no. We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. <coughs> baby Alexander is awake. To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? 
I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. Oh. The light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Stop. I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes. We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm. Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> the bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. <laughs> George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. 
Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. George's new dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> George is playing with his favourite toy, Mr. Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Mr. Dinosaur is made of plastic. It is almost impossible to break him. <laughs> Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr. Dinosaur in the bath. <laughs> Night time, George always takes Mr. Dinosaur to bed with him. Dinosaur! George! Mr. Dinosaur is broken! Oh! Mr. Dinosaur does not have a tail anymore. <laughs> Poor George! You have had Mr. Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr Fox's shop. Mr Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> I'm sure. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. <sighs> It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar, Dino Roar, Dino Roar has woken me up! Dino Roar. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep Dino Roar somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. <laughs> oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> it 
doesn't work. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now, Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh. Daddy Pig has mended Mr. Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh. I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur, dinosaur. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> 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 Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. <laughs> Pig's boat. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are taking Pepper and George out for a day on the river. Welcome aboard, me hearties. Pepper, George, let's put your life jackets on. <laughs> when Pepper and George are on Grandpa Pig's boat, they must wear life jackets. On this boat, I'm the captain. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> when Captain Grandpa tells you all to do something, you must do it. Unless it's something silly. Captain Grandpa never says anything silly. Of course not, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> George, raise the flag. <laughs> Papa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain. Granny Pig, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Full sail. <laughs> Maybe you should go a little slower, Grandpa Pig. Good idea, Granny Pig. I don't want to use up all my petrol. Grandpa, I liked it when you went fast. Don't worry, Pepper. We'll go fast later. Look! There's another boat! Here's Grandad Dog. He's taking Danny Dog out for a day on the river. Ahoy there, Grandad Dog! Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Hello, Danny. Hello, Pippa. <laughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> I'm surprised your boat is still afloat, Grandad Dog. It must be almost as old as you are. This old boat can go faster than your rusty bucket any day, Grandpa Pig. All right, you old sea dog. Race you. Prepare to lose, water hog. You two are acting like little children. <laughs> Granddad Dog called me a water hog. You called him a sea dog first, Grandpa. You should say sorry. Only if he says sorry first. Granddad, say sorry to Grandpa Pig. He's your best friend. No, he's a water hog, and my boat is faster than his. All right, sea dog. Let's race to the next bridge. On the count of three. One. To go! You started too soon. Catch me if you can, water hog. <laughs> sea dog. Is that as fast as you can go? Can't catch me. <laughs> I win. Oh dear! Grandpa Pig's boat has run out of petrol. Very clever, Captain Grandpa. Maybe I did go a bit too fast. How will we get home? Look, there's Grandad Dog. <laughs> Grandad Dog can tow us home. I'm not being towed by that sea dog. I haven't offered to tow the water hog. <sighs> will you two ever grow up? Grandpa, say sorry to Grandad Dog. I'm... Sorry I called you a sea dog. Grandad, say sorry to Grandpa Pig. I'm sorry I called you a water hog. That's nice. Grandad Dog, would you be so kind as to tow us home? It would be my pleasure, madame. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, skipper! 
Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Grandad Dog is towing Grandpa Pig's boat home. The main thing is, I won the race. Grandpa Pig. Naughty Grandpa Pig. Peppa, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's train to the rescue. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George for a ride on his little train, Gertrude. I love Gertrude the train. And the good thing is, Gertrude has rubber wheels, so we don't have to go on train tracks. We can go wherever we like. <laughs> Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 all day long. <laughs> 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 Miss Rabbit is taking the grown ups to work in her big train. Morning, Grandpa Pig. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Oh, that's nice. Bye. Go faster, Grandpa Pig. I can't. This is as fast as Gertrude goes. The big train is going very fast. Oh, dear. The big train has broken down. What's happening? We need to get to work. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Having trouble with your train? <laughs> it's not funny, Grandpa Pig. All of my passengers need to get to work. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down, like Gertrude. <laughs> That's a good idea. Out you get. What? I'm borrowing your train. I'll change. But what am I going to do? You can stay here and mend the big train. Righto. I do like mending things. Oh, what fun! Riding a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Of course. All aboard the toy train. <laughs> Can't it go any faster? No. Gertrude is a slow train. Mrs Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. What's happened to the big train? Has it shrunk? No, this is a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs. Oh, dear! A traffic jam! Gertrude can ride on the grass. Of course! Bye, everyone! Miss Rabbit is taking a shortcut. Past the duck pond. Hello, ducks! <laughs> up the hill. Come on, Gertrude! Do you can make it! And to the next station. Hello! <laughs> Where's the big train? The big train is broken. We're riding Grandpa Pig's toy train today. Gertrude is not a toy train. She, she is, is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the end of the line. This goes here and that goes there. Grandpa Pig has mended the big train. Good as new. Last stop! Now you can all do your important work. Hang on. It's taken us so long to get here, it's home time. Oh, back we go then. But if we travel on Gertrude, it will take ages to get home. Hello, everyone. I've mended the big train. Excellent, Grandpa Pig. All change. Off we go. Stop! What about Gertrude? We can't leave her behind. Yes, Gertrude! Don't worry. We can take the toy train as well. Gertrude is not a toy. We know. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude is the best train in the whole world. Well. <laughs> <laughs>
spider web. Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho! Oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was for Incy out. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look. Mr Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy. You said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. I will, Peppa. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Daddy Pig works very hard. <sighs> but Mr Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> <laughs>